Well, imagine sitting in traffic but not having to worry about touching the wheel. Google has been testing a self-driving car in Austin the last couple of months. It is one of 23 in their fleet that has traveled nearly 2 million miles. More than a million of those being controlled by computers. KXA and traffic reporter Amanda Dugan shows us the car you may be seeing driving around town. Volma Overton heard about the new self-driving Lexus from Google coming to Austin and decided to come see it for himself. I started realizing that that's going to be a really uh, fun technology to follow. I think it's a lot more efficient than what we have out right now. Since June, the driverless vehicle has traveled about one million miles. Until now, Google tested the vehicle primarily in California. But the company feels it's time to get experience in some new places with different driving environments. That's why Google has tested the self-driving car in Austin for several weeks now. Safety drivers commute with the vehicle and provide feedback about the drive to engineers. Bulma says driverless cars like Google's could help ease Austin's traffic troubles. Especially with people driving and texting and rubbernecking, these vehicles don't do any of that. And uh, this seems to me like the, a really obvious solution for uh, traffic relief. In Austin. The car is designed to be aware of other vehicles. A LIDAR located on top of the car is able to map out the vehicle's environment. It may not be long before you're watching this vehicle pass by on I-35. In downtown Austin, Amanda Dugan, KXA News. Google programmers have to make the car learn how to respond to every possible scenario and they are constantly encountering specific situations out there. Take a look at this graphic. The white car represents the self-driving car. The green line is the path it would travel from a green arrow. The purple box is in front of it there, though. That is an ambulance needing to cut the flow of traffic to get by safely. Google says their self-driving car made the correct decision and did not move even though it was a green light. And since they began testing back in 2009, the Google cars have been involved in 14 crashes, but the causes might surprise you. Take a look. Ten of those crashes were caused by other drivers rear-ending the self-driving car. Three others happened when other drivers hit the side of the cars. The only crash where the Google car was responsible happened back in 2011. It was not in autonomous mode, meaning that the computer was not driving, a human was.